Her behavior is out of the ordinary and extremely aggressive. A mental hospital nurse approaches her and asks if she would like to take a meal. Anita retaliates by hitting and spitting on the face of the nurse. Anita is imprisoned in a dark, solitary cell as a punishment. She is recollecting her past from this location. She recalls her entire life. She also thinks about her friend Jennifer. Jennifer and Anita are best friends. Now the story leads to the past. We see a village called Devil's Kettle here. And these two belong to this village. Basically, this city was named due to a cascade. All water from this cascade falls into a big hole. No one knows where all this water goes. For this purpose, scientists, researchers, and laymen struggled very much to know its flow but no one succeeded in discovering the puzzle. Now we come to our main story. Jennifer is considered a popular, nice, beautiful, and famous girl in her college. On the other hand, Anita is totally different from her friend. They are both best friends but different by nature and traits. Jennifer is famous while Needy is reserved. Nor as beautiful as Jennifer. Needy has a boyfriend named Chip, but Needy prefers Jennifer more to her boyfriend. For instance, when Jennifer says to Needy that they too will go to the local bar during the night. So that they can enjoy the band performance. Needy instantly agrees with Jennifer's wish ignoring her boyfriend Chip. Now they arrive at the bar. Jennifer is attracted to band performer Nicholas and starts liking him. She also offers him a drink. When Jennifer goes to take a drink for Nicholas. Then Nicholas talks about Jennifer to his friend. Needy hears them and hates his conversation. Needy tells Jennifer about his intention but she says to ignore it. During the band's performance, the hall catches fire due to a short circuit. And this fire begins to prevail slowly. Here people try to save their lives. Needy also runs outside with Jennifer breaking the window of the toilet. The whole bar is full of fire and the people are just screaming for help. Band members come outside and Nicholas offers Jennifer to join them and asks her to come into the van. Needy stops Jennifer and Jennifer leaves sitting in the van with Nicholas and his friends. Needy is left behind alone. Her sad utterance is noticeable on her face. Needy returns to her home and calls her boyfriend Chip and tells the entire ordeal. She tells that Jennifer has accompanied them. She also tells her boyfriend about the fear of rape of Jennifer. During the call, her house doorbell rings. She checks by going outside but to her dismay, no one is present. Finding no one outside the door, she moves inside. But coming inside, she hears some sound in the house. As she comes inside fearfully, she sees wounded Jennifer. Her face has spots of blood. Here Jennifer smirks. Needy gets upset by seeing her attitude. Opening the refrigerator, Jennifer starts eating raw chicken. Jennifer yells in a frightful manner and vomits a blackish substance. The next day Needy is thinking about last night's incident and gets disturbed. She is also worried about Jennifer. Jennifer was unstable last night but she appears to be active, energetic, and bold today. Both are present in the classroom. Their teacher expresses condolences for the people who died in the bar last night. Jennifer makes fun of her teacher laughing at him. Many changes appear in Jennifer. That disturbs Needy. She is very confused. Needy tells everything to her boyfriend Chip about the arrival of Jennifer last night in her house showing strange behavior. Now Jennifer meets the football captain of her college. He was sad because a few of his friends are dead in an accident. Consoling him, Jennifer takes him to a forest nearby the school. She seduces him there. Further birds and animals gather in their surroundings looking at them. At the same time, Jennifer's face is changed as long teeth emerges from her mouth, as evil has possessed her. And she kills the football captain. The dying football captain screams and this crying sound is heard by the college professor. Hearing the crying sound. The college professor arrives there, he notices his mutilated dead body. Needy and Jennifer make a telephonic conversation. 
Needy is worried because of the occurrence of many deaths in their city. But Jennifer says to her, calm down and move on. We see that Jennifer burns her tongue with a lighter but she is unharmed. And Jennifer says to Needy that I am God. One month passes gradually. Now Jennifer seems inactive, tired, and sick. She is no more active and energetic. Now we observe a student who offers Jennifer to join him for viewing cinema saying that we will enjoy ourselves there. But Jennifer refuses and asks him to meet that night. And she takes him to a house which is under construction. While talking with that boy Jennifer's eyes color begins to change. Looking into her eyes, that boy gets frightened. At the same time, Jennifer also kills that boy and starts eating his raw flesh. On the other side, Needy is along with her lover. She has nightmares about Jennifer. She thinks Jennifer is in a tough situation. She leaves the house immediately. When Needy is on the road she sees Jennifer on the front side wrapped in blood. Jennifer jumps on Needy's car windshield. Needy is afraid, she comes to her house escaping. As she goes to her bed for sleep, she finds Jennifer in a normal state. In confusion, Needy does not understand anything as to what is going on. She asks Jennifer to leave. But Jennifer says to her, don't worry. We are BFFs and I will tell you the truth. Needy wants to know the truth and Jennifer reveals everything saying when I went with those band boys sitting in a van they took me to a cascade. Nicholas and all of his friends used to worship Satan. They were doing this act to get success in their musical career. They asked me, are you a virgin? I said, yes. Basically, by killing me, they wanted to present this sacrifice to Satan so that they may get success. This band was involved in black magic. Stabbing Jennifer, band member Nicholas had thrown the knife into the cascade. But Jennifer is actually not a virgin so she survived. But she does not remain normal after survival. Evil possesses her. Satan occupies her. Those band members became famous after this sacrifice. And Jennifer survived but Satan occupied her. She also says after awakening, she felt very hungry. So she arrived at Needy's house to quench her hunger and began to eat raw chicken by opening the refrigerator. Jennifer also tells her friend that she attains extra strength after eating any human flesh and quenching her hunger. She shows it by scratching her hand which is automatically healed. Jennifer has satanic powers now. Hearing, seeing, and knowing all that, Needy is horrified and asks Jennifer to go. Needy visits the town library for more information on this matter. And she reads the books of paranormal to know the truth and find solutions. Through book reading, Needy knows that Band had committed a mistake. Because they were considering Jennifer as a virgin and they became famous after killing her. But Satan occupied Jennifer as she is not a virgin. There is only one way that can save Jennifer now, and that is to kill her by stabbing into her heart Needy tells her lover everything. Chip does not actually believe her words and suggests she see a psychologist. Needy also comes to know that eating the human flesh is essential for Jennifer's survival. She will lose her beauty if she does not eat human flesh in order to keep herself beautiful and young, it is necessary for Jennifer to eat the people by killing them. After a few days, a concert is held in their college. Needy is also upset thinking Jennifer may kill anyone in the function and her boyfriend Chip life may also be in danger. And she forbids her boyfriend to go to the concert. But her boyfriend takes it as fun and says, nothing will happen, just be relaxed. Concert day comes and all people are dancing here. Needy is waiting for her boyfriend. But Chip is still not reached. On the other side, Jennifer is also not present there. Many wrong notions come into Needy's mind and she is afraid. In a worrisome condition, she comes to Chip's house leaving the function. Needy knows from Chip's house that he has gone to attend a college function. On the other side, Chip is shown going on the way, where Jennifer meets him. And Jennifer tells Chip that Needy had an affair with another boy. It is the reason why she does not value you much. While conversing, she takes him to an abandoned swimming pool Jennifer is just closing on Chip but is stopped by him because he loves Needy very much. And he does not want to be close to anyone, 
Jennifer gets furious and attacks Chip. This is the satanic side of Jennifer. Further, we see that Needy reaches that point searching for both. Needy notices that Jennifer is biting the neck of his lover and trying to kill him. She was wrapped in blood but Needy tries to save her lover from jumping there. Needy pushes, fights, and sprays on Jennifer's face to keep her away. Jennifer becomes aggressive, claiming that she can not only kill the boys but also the girls. And after that Jennifer comes into the air using her satanic powers. There is a great argument between these two friends. As Jennifer comes to kill Needy, Wounded Chip attacks on Jennifer with a rod stabbing it into her abdomen. As a result, Jennifer is injured. Jennifer is tired because of the loss of her blood and leaves. But Needy is present there with her lover who is dying before her eyes, at last, he dies. Needy is very angry and sad, she wants to take revenge on Jennifer at any cost. She goes to Jennifer's house. As she comes into Jennifer's room, a quarrel is held between them. While fighting, Jennifer bites on the neck of Needy. Quarrel continues and Needy stabs in the heart of Jennifer with a knife. Needy had read that there is only one way to kill Jennifer by stabbing her heart. After stabbing, Jennifer is killed and also her satanic powers are ended. Hearing the sounds of crying, Jennifer's mother comes into her room. She notices that Needy has killed her daughter. Now the movie comes to its first scene. Actually Needy was imprisoned in a mental hospital because she has killed Jennifer. But we know a strange thing, this Needy is not like before as Jennifer has a bit Needy while quarreling, as a result, satanic powers penetrate Needy. Here we see flying Needy in the air. Needy now possesses supernatural abilities as well. She is much more aggressive as a result of this. She takes flight from here using her satanic powers, and exits through the window. She escapes from the jail. Running from here, she leads to that cascade. And she finds the same knife which Nicholas had used to get the satanic powers while killing Jennifer. She picks that knife. Taking a lift from the car, she reaches the place where band is there for their concert. We see the band is enjoying in a luxurious way indulging in drugs in their room. At the same time, someone comes there and puts everyone to death brutally. It is not shown till now, who killed these musical band members. Further, we see